Right, so here we are given three types of metal, and we want to determine how many atoms there are per unit cell for each of these metals. So we're going to be doing this for polonium, tungsten, and nickel. Now to do this problem, you really only need to understand the type of lattice formed by each of these metals in order to determine how many atoms they have per unit cell. So polonium is, is a classic example of something that forms a, a simple cubic structure. And because it forms a simple cubic structure, if we think about the number of atoms per cell, it's going to be one. Tungsten, on the other hand, forms a body-centered cubic structure. As you should recall, a body-centered cubic structure has a total of one atom in the cell if we consider the four corners of the atom, but it also has one full atom in the center for a total of two atoms per unit cell. Now, nickel solidifies into a face-centered cubic cell. A face-centered cubic cell has those one atom attributed to the eight atoms on the corners, as well as an atom in each of the faces of the cube, and half of those atoms are contained inside the cube which means that in total, we're going to have four atoms per unit cell for nickel.